the Western world wouldn't be failing in real time. I say this as a Muslim. All of the problems of the Western world is down to an absolute lack of faith and conviction within the Christians. That's how they get away with all of this garbage. This is not about Muslims versus Christians. That's not what this is about. This is what they want. We need more God, not less God. We need more men who are prepared to stand on God and fight for God. It is the atheists. It's the people who believe in nothing. They're the ones who are pushing and purporting the ideas that are destroying your society. They are the people who are trying to destroy your family life and poison your children. I have no problem with Christians. I embrace Christians as my brothers and finally happy to see you standing up. All right, so there's a lot of shirtless dudes in this. Shirt um, anyway, uh, so <laughs> so what do you think about what Tate said? Um, that's a lot, bro. Because he ain't even a Christian; he a Muslim. Yeah. So it's like, oh, well, okay. The reason why he got attacked was because, like you said earlier, he's the pastor or the uh, I, I forgot what he what rabbi called, the rabbi. <laughs> He's been well, gung-ho he's talking like about bishop. bishop, okay. He's been talking about how Islam um, is a false religion. And I think, I think, and I, I could be wrong, but I believe he also talked about how the Islam is going to usher in the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I think, and of course, like in those, in, in the Europe countries, um, Islamic is really, Islam is taking over. Like yeah. it's really gaining steam, and more people are, are adopting it, and and different things. And then when you go and see like preachers, like street preachers out there, they be like face to face with Muslims going back and forth, like about the fight, and just talking about like Jesus is false, Jesus is like no, nah, Jesus is God, and like, so they going back and forth. So I think what what I saw another clip of um, the bishop talking about he got a death threat and was like in two days you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, he said he knew. Yeah, he, was he, he knew he knew it was happening. And got and, and the blessing was uh, and I heard somebody commentary was like the dude couldn't the get knife the knife all the way it, out yeah, and it well, just it cut you know, it cut like it, it like, cut him or somebody said they the 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 church cut his fingers yeah. off or something crazy happened. <laughs> But, I, I, but, but <laughs> yeah. I, I just think at the end of the day, man. I mean, if you stand on, if you stand about who Jesus really is, people gonna come and see you. It, it, it put in perspective how serious this is. Like yeah. the stuff we say here, the stuff you say in public, it's like there's people watching that could have a problem with that, and you have an enemy that that hates you. You know, yeah. so mm -hmm. um, it was a good reminder. Now, there's a lot of people who've been bringing up like this guy has said some questionable things and this yeah. and that, but that. Nah, that's that's irrelevant right now. What's what's important is is that this Christian stood on his principles, and he got attacked um, by by somebody else. Now, what Tate is saying, which I disagree with, is he's almost like he's trying to pull Christians into like a a Muslim way of thinking of mm -hmm. you have to fight physically fight the enemy. I think Jesus was really careful to make sure you, he knew the way you fight is by turning the other cheek, yeah. forgiving your forgiving your enemy. Um, those Rare. kind of th it's it's a different way yeah. to fight. It's yeah. vengeance is the Lord's, not mine. Yeah. Mentality. Andrew Tate. I think the reason he's not a Christian is he thinks that's a weak mentality. Yeah, yeah. It, it really takes more strength to restrain yourself than it does to lash out. You know, yeah. like Jesus could have wiped everybody out. Twelve legions of angels. Mm -hmm. He restrained himself because he knew it was something bigger at play than him defending his own pride, his own ego. Yeah. Um. But that's what you see. Like the guy who attacked the bishop. He felt disrespected and because of his uh, his belief was being challenged, and he lashed out and he stabbed the guy. So yeah. that's just the mentality, the aggressive mentality. You hear Farrakhan all the time, like when he talks, that's the aggressive mentality that they have. And with us, a lot of times they look at us like we squares, like we punks, like we soft, like we sitting back letting things happen, and um, they're just not the way the Bible really tells us. It, does, it doesn't say necessarily back down because you see Christ confront people. Like yeah. you see him confront the yeah. Pharisees yeah. and confront people yeah. in a certain kind of way. He didn't slap them or, you know, beat them up, <laughs> but he let them know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know I stand on these things. I'm going to stand on the word of God, which he was the word. I'm going to stand on the principles I'm of stand God. Stand on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stand, stand on, stand on, on me. Rock. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I think for us, we look like suckers to a lot of people. Like when anything tragic goes on, where were the church? Where were the Christians? What were y'all doing? Like even when Martin Luther King was peaceful, you had yeah. the Black Panthers and you had I forgot the one uh, Stokely Carmichael and them guys like we tired of sitting back letting them beat on us and do this. We got to strike back, you know. It's always been the case. But, mm -hmm. but the funny part about it is that, like like, I don't understand why is the church, and we got a few more stories about this too, allowing people's 
non-Christian beliefs dictate what they should do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For real. You know what I mean? Like, why Why is... And he has the right heart, but he has the right heart to say, stand up, stand up. But at the same time, what, what he's trying to sweep under the rug is, it was one of his Muslim brothers that attacked yeah, him exactly. because of what he said. Like, you know... You know what? 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 Majority of Christians would stand on to say the difference between Islam and Christianity is that you don't believe Jesus is God, mm-hmm. and they they reject that. To, like they say, they say it like Jesus is not God. If you that's a false religion, y'all in. Mm-hmm. So when we talk back and say no, y'all in the false religion, and that's when the heated conversation come on. But he mm-hmm. was trying to make it look like. Um, this is for the atheists. These are the people who don't believe in God. And it's like, no, bro. No, nah, this, this is my nothing. Christian <laughs> brothers. He said, my Christian, we are not brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we not. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we believe totally different things. And Tate, man, he's one of the people to feel like I can take my shirt off and scream real loud and it means I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's always on something different. Some stuff he say is cool, but a lot of times, he says a lot of stuff just belligerent and just ridiculous. And because he has a platform and he talks real loud, he feels like it's just the law. You know I what th- I'm saying? I think this is the the, the danger of how we kind of talked about with um, Tony Evans about the whole conservative movement going into the, like, Christian, like, super Christian mentality yeah. and ready to fight and take back the nation, be a masculine man. And, and I'm not saying God don't want you to be courageous. He doesn't want you, like, God wants you courageous men men to stand up he want mighty men um but then also he wants you to obey the word he wants you to live how the word tells you to live you know so i think um i think i think we gotta watch that because i I know i know i remember the um conversation we had with him and candace owens and how candace owens was like almost begging him to come back to christianity like she was like yo i wish you would come back to christianity and da 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 because we need more men like you and it's like no we don't <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean it's just weird man we're just in a weird time right now bro it's just a lot of stuff you look back and you're like what is going on that's in the street? that's the issue like we said a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff is going on and people are feeling like christians just sit by and watch it they look at us like we just chumps you know what i'm saying yeah so it's, it's like a it's like a societal pressure for us to start lashing out to prove that we're tough, but to do that to be told the contrary to what we believe for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm being told that the poll. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna have to get Ciara or Jared to come do these polls. I cannot keep up with the polls. That's funny. I can do them. Okay. All right. So they're asking um, if someone were to stab you, how are how are you immediately responding? Be honest. Fifty seven percent said I'm defending myself. 26% said I'm going to turn the other cheek. 4% said I'm getting help. And the 16% said I don't know, but it sounds like it hurt. All of the above. <laughs> I'm going to defend myself. Then I'm going to turn the other cheek and forgive after I'm defended. Right. <laughs> and whoever else is going to help, going to help too. It's all of the above. Like, you, yeah. don't, you don't just take knives to the chest like willy nilly. Right. Exactly. You're going you to fight off. Yeah. My brother. Fight off my the, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no. You fight off the attack. And yeah. then later on, you yeah, say, I forgive you for what yeah, you just you did. That was, no that was crazy. Yeah. I ain't gonna, it, ain't, it ain't like it ain't nuts. <laughs> yeah. Better hope I ain't got no it's just, it's just It's just weird, man. And like, like I said, like, you guys have recently had people come to you and say, yo, I love track stars, da, 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 da. And people see what we do. We, we, I'm sure we got videos with people who don't like what we said on stuff. Hey. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Hey. So that's why we've, I carry that hammer we've now. Gotten, <laughs> we've, gotten, we've gotten threatened before. Yeah, so you I mean, know that? yeah, you told me that before. We've Tell gotten me. literally threatened before. Yeah, so. I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> he hey. got that Peter spirit <laughs> playing hey, James not. Rock with that trap hey. theology. Hey, peace be still. <laughs> <laughs> My peace be still. I'm telling you. Hey. All right. Uh, <laughs> you walk up on him. He petted like a hey. cat. That turned that turned darker than I thought it was. All right. 